Hey everybody, Mark Shepard here and welcome to the hypnosis of money. I've taken a little break, came outside to watch the eclipse and I've been thinking about these crypto cranking programs and why they're so appealing, right? And I think there's a deep, deep mythical, mystical part of us that really does want to believe in the tooth fairy, really does want to believe in genies and the universe smiling on us and our luck having changed, that there's some deep yearning in us to be able to make sense of this world and to finally master it. Because money for so many of us, I would say the majority of the people on the planet, money is a huge issue. There's never enough of it for them, right? And we have a lot of things going on in our culture that kind of indicate that we are being held down. And no matter what you do, if you do any kind of research on money, you discover this, this event that happened at the beginning of the 1900s where the United States went to a central bank and the Federal Reserve, a lot of people think that's part of the government. It's actually a private corporation, right? And it gets crazy from there. If you do any digging whatsoever, you, you discover that our entire economy is a Ponzi scheme. And I'll say that again, our entire economy is a Ponzi scheme. And at some point it's gonna come apart. That's partly why I'm investigating these crypto cranking programs, these high yield, high risk uh, programs that everybody is calling scams or Ponzi schemes. And they may very well be, and they probably are. But just think about the whole notion of something going up in value, right? Bitcoin's gone up to new highs. How did that happen? What is that? And I think Bitcoin is legitimate money. I think it generates real value. I think it's convenient. I think it's the wave of the future. I think in a few short years, people will be like, yeah, what's your Bitcoin wallet? You know, <laughs> what's your Litecoin wallet? We'll have wallets that we can do any currency and we'll have multiple ways to pay for things. And, uh, and I think it's fabulous. And there's something in human nature that resists change. Uh, those that are in power are threatened by change. Mm. So we have a very interesting anthropological, sociological, psychological, economical, political, spiritual movement starting to happen. And uh, so I want to I want to thank you guys for all all of you who are subscribing. A bunch of you joined up in the last week as I've been exploring these crypto cranking programs. And I got to tell you, my ardor for them has waned. I'm feeling like, yeah, you know what? There, there are better ways to make a living, right? The, the easy thing, the sure thing, we, it's like it's a, it's a cognitive bias. And uh, there's a, been a lot of research done that people would much rather take the sure 100 than the uncertain 200, right? <laughs> Uh, they'd rather take the uncertain 200 than definitely lose their 100, right? That's part of how we're wired as animals. And it helped us survive, helped us get down out of the trees, out into the Serengeti, and then to basically fill the whole world. And now we're, we're pretty close to messing it up. So we need to understand ourselves and each other so that we actually can find ways to make really abundant, prosperous livings that are, that are suited to our personalities, right? I'm a massive introvert. I just was able to spend uh, pretty much all of yesterday and so far today in total solitude. And I love the people in my life. I love people. I have a big heart and I care about people and I, and I just, I feel people's pain and sometimes that's exhausting and I need to take a break. Sometimes I can hang out with other people and it's fine. Other times I need a lot of solitude. So I need a way to make a living as a musician 
as a storyteller, as a philosopher, as a teacher, as uh, a student of human behavior, um, I need to find a way to make a living. And that's this is one of the things I'm exploring. And uh, mostly I'm finding that YouTube is a way that I can reach out to you guys because some things I know about you. You're frustrated. You probably have debts you're trying to pay off. You don't see any other place to do it where you can literally just take action and get a result and pay those debts off or uh, do the thing that you really want to do or save up for the new thing that you really wanted to save up for. And, and it just seems like if you think about it, I have a friend who every day, uh, no, I have a friend who every May basically will say, yep, Everybody just stopped uh, working for the government. Now they're working for themselves for the rest of the year. I mean, think about that. If we are giving three to four months of our hard-earned money to the government so they can fight wars, right? So they can spy on us? Like, are you... Are you is anybody putting this together? So I think... I think we are being held down. I think the cubicle slaves need to realize that we're slaves. And I'm a peaceful man. I want change to come peacefully. I want transformation to happen to this planet. I want us to keep the planet alive. I want to protect our natural resources so that our children and our children's children have some place to live. Um, and it doesn't take much to see that there is a huge yearning on the part of people to improve their lives, to just make a little bit more money and to keep it and to, to get it to grow. So that's, I think, why so many people are coming towards the cryptocurrencies. And I think that's also why these high interest, high uh, risk, high yield programs will be around just like Las Vegas is going to be around for a long, long time. I don't know if Atlantic City will make it, but Las Vegas, they'll probably make it because that's what people want. And it's sad that people are so hopeless and so beaten down that playing the lottery or gambling is, is like their last best hope at a, at a prosperous life. And so that's kind of, that's what I'm thinking about today. I hope that's not too somber for you guys. I, I like to keep things light. I like to, I like to see the positive in everything. And I've learned so much from this in the last three weeks. And uh, yeah, I've learned, I've learned that I'm pretty good at some of it and I'm pretty bad at some of it, <laughs> you know, uh, I get excited. And last week was just a thrill, thrillful week, you know, and by the end of the week, I was kind of tired. Uh, and I've been cranking out videos like crazy. And I know that uh, I got to get back to my music too. So I'm trying to find that balance. And I'd love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much. And if you get a chance, please check out my music. If you dig a little bit here on uh, on this website, on, the, on my YouTube channel, you can find my music. And uh, I'm working on a new video right now uh, for my Freedom Song. I have a couple of different versions of the video. I'm just, again, experimenting with because i don't have the money to pay a film crew um, okay what can i do myself and is it part of my creative process or is it something that gets in the way and right now it's part of my creative process and uh, it's just the most beautiful day here we had the eclipse a little bit earlier and um, i'm up at one of my favorite places and uh, i'll be showing you the video from that soon i hope and uh and that's it for now. So if you like this channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate that. It's the first time I've been able to actually reach out to some people who kind of get me and I kind of get you guys and, and it's awesome and I really appreciate it. And if you like what I'm doing here, please share it. Please let other people know about it because I think people are going to be coming into this, into this cryptocurrency space and they, they're going to need some guidance, right? And I'm teaching it as I learn it. And I think that's, that's how I do best. And hopefully you guys are doing what you do best at. And I, I just, I can't say how much I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you a lot. Thanks so much. I think it's time to start the music. Music.